Detroit, baby. We out here. You see what's going on. We aggravated. We ain't playing no games. Okay. Um, recently, maybe a couple weeks ago, you released the um, collab with Payroll, yeah. um, which was the outlets and plus was those uh, like varsity jackets or something the like varsity that. Varsity jackets and hoodies. Um, crazy. And, you know. They gone already, man. Man, they, we had a pre-sale. And those are custom made, so we got some more on the way. Okay. But uh, okay. I'm sure by the time this interview come out, they'll be gone. I was about to say, look, I was about to say, don't do us like that yeah, with yeah, the limited, yeah, man. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, yeah. you gotta pop back out with them things, yeah, man. Sure, you know, sure y'all get good. They was hard so, too. Uh, was I love. like the design or whatever. So, um, so yeah, I'm all about like so payroll. That's dear friend to me. I don't love bro him or nothing. That's like that's my that's my real dog, and uh. He, he different, you know what I'm saying? But all the, all the, all the fellas, all the dope ways, you know what I'm saying? Um, kid, that was, that was, that was my babies. But like, payroll, me and him got a real connection, you know what I'm saying? And he know, he trusts me and I do all of his merch, you know, my design team, um, marketing team, you know, me and him team together when it, when it was time for him to, uh, put some merch out. And so any, any of the merch that you see him put out, um, we got our hand in it through the plugged in agency. Uh, and, um, and then we decided to collab and I always knew, like, I used to tell them, like, man, you got to make a plugged in song. But the all lesson, when, it, when all lesson plugs came out years ago, mm -hmm. I was like, that's the song. That's the and one. I didn't know how it was going to form out. But when it was time to do the collab, it was a no, there was no reason to rethink it. It was like already there. So one of the, on this side, it says, uh, this the results when you're good with your outlets and plugs, which is one of his verses in that, you know, in that mm -hmm. rhyme. And then the other side says, uh, it's all about what you plugged into, your energy, your access, and your network, which is our mission statement. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, and, that, and, no that, and, that, and that's big, too, because, um, you know, watching Pay, you know, he real selective. That's my I, I, don't, I don't think just from the outside looking in, I don't think that he would just work with a lot yeah. of people, especially with something, you know, like fashion and stuff like that. So yeah, he don't play. Yeah. You know, so he know what he want. That's why I, that's another reason why I love working with him, man. It's not no blind. He ain't shooting no shooting no blinds. Like he trusts my vision or my team, but but it's all about him setting the you know, he gonna he gonna tell you my next project is Ghost Mode. You know, I wanna do a shirt with Blah blah blah, and bam! Then I got inspo to go on, and I can relay that to my guy John, who who does all of our, you know, a lot of my designs and, sure. and all of my designs. That's who I trust. You know nope. what I'm saying? So, nope. so looking at the business um, world in Detroit, um, I always say that it's important for people to understand how to transition from artists to business, because for Black people. Music is like one of the fastest ways to really touching some cash, really touching some pay. If you look at Atlanta, um, the reason why the economy is, you know, just with black people, the reason why the economy is what it is, is because you had the outcasts getting money off music. You had the, you know, T.I., all the people, the artists that come from Atlanta. When you see Detroit artists, um, finally breaking in the door. Um, what advice would you give to them um, in transitioning? Um, you know, any tips or anything that you would give to them? That's a great question because the reason why that's a great question, me and my homeboy Nick was just talk. we talk about this all the time. <clears throat> so most of the time, the music is so short-lived so with them being able to get an abundance of money in a three to four year run, it's so important for them to know what they're going to parlay that into. So whether it's franchises with Chick-fil-A's or, you know what I'm saying? Whatever their next move is, and it's important for them to make the city look like what it should look like, you know, like what they want it to look like. Like we can't, all the years that, that they were, they were, you know, some of the artists were poor and struggling and different things like that and would complain like it ain't nothing to do in Detroit. Facts. Or man, when I go to Atlanta, man, it'd be 
you know, chandeliers hanging from it. Well, make that how you got the power to make the city look like whatever you need it to look like. And it's a great place to start because it's a blank canvas. So you can find a building, put all stores there, put a grocery store here, you know, put the type of stuff, the type of businesses that you wanted to see, you know, and that you dreamed of and the places that you fly to Houston to go shop, put those places here. Cause like now the artists are getting some real breaks, man. It's like, they're not getting no little money. Like you're really doing some good things, not counting pockets or nothing, but just respecting it. And, um, uh, just knowing and celebrating it, man. And, and, and it's no better place to, to pour into than, than where you're from. That's right. So these neighborhoods should start looking a lot better, man, when that, when that type of money come in because we spend so much time tearing our neighborhoods down, trying to, trying to find our way, you know, then now it's your responsibility to flip it over and make it look a little bit better for the kids that's coming up after us. That's real. That's real. So, for sure, for sure. So what you got coming up? Um, you know, anything that you want the people to be watching out for, looking out for, man, um, what's next for you? We just gonna keep grinding, man. Um, love Detroit. Um, everything is, is, everything is bigger than Detroit. Everything is bigger than just your block. Everything is bigger than everything. So we trying to plug the world, bro. You know, this is about energy access and network. So. It's bigger than we're not a Detroit brand, which is all respect to it, but we we Detroit born and bred, you know, stand behind it. Everybody that's involved with it is, you know, straight from here, but we're trying to go see the world, man. We're trying to make it easier for our children and our our children and our children's children, you know, and um just trying to open up a whole nother lane. So when you see plugged in, man, just know that it's it's you know, we're not playing around. Um, we're trying to expand. We have an education program that we're taking into the schools um, to elevate other entrepreneurs. And uh, we're just building and just know like we're, we're trying to, it's one of the only brands that is designed to help other people. So we develop other brands as well as if you just want to get the clothes, the clothes are designed for you to want to brush yourself up and, and put yourself in different rooms, you know what I'm saying? And expand your network, man. That's what it's about, and, and up your energy, you know what I'm saying, when you are in the room. So that's what we're about, you know what I'm saying, and that's what Plugged In is all about, man.